Hey guys, in this build, I will show you guys a $600 PC build for 2016 um, January. It's starting off a new year, guys. Yes, it is Lorenz Black from um, Tech Legends. Yes, Tech Legends, you guys are like, am I on the wrong right channel? Yes, you are. We changed the name to Tech Legends because All in One Gamer was, wasn't really too, didn't really sound too, like, you know, like if it was a tech channel. So I decided to put it as Tech Legends. I checked. There's really no one else who has this name, um, Tech Legends. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to keep it as te um, Tech Legends. So, yeah, guys, starting off the $600 PC build, we have the graphics card. The most important part of the, one of the most important parts of the build. I, w I went with the um, EVGA GeForce GTX 960, a 2GB um, SSC Gaming ACX 2.0. I heard this, um, it says right here, um, is Whisper Silent Cooling, uh, it's a cooling graphics card. So it will be silent and it will do just fine on cooling, so the overclocking is recommended. And is it, and is totally usable. And this is pretty much one of the high end, um, graphics cards, I guess. But for a, for a price of $200, this should be good. Let's go on to the next part. Guys, we're at the next part. Let's go to the thing that makes this system actually run. We're going with the Intel, um, Intel Core i5-4590, um, 3.3 GHz, and is, of course, overclockable and unlocked. Yeah, guys, this, um, more games are starting to take more, um, like, CPU power, and they're taking more advantage of the more cores, like, um, Just Cause 3, Black Ops 3, and Assassin's Creed Syndicate, I believe. They're taking more cores, and they're taking their, the Minimum specifications are getting higher and higher because they're taking advantage. The games are taking advantage of the cores um, that most people are gonna have. That's why Intel Pentium and some AMD's some AMD processors aren't gonna cut it. Let's get on to the next part. Heading on to the next part, we have the whole thing that holds everything together is that AS Rock motherboard micro ATX DDR3. So you guys, this for DDR3 um, RAM. LGA 1150 so make sure everything I know everything's compatible so don't even worry about that but, but if you do want to make sure just go on PC part picker if you're gonna change some parts up and make sure it's compatible before you buy it of course oh well, it's pretty standard gaming um yeah sorry my voice cracked there very solid um you know gaming motherboard pretty good for its price um it is win uh, windows ready until ready you know all that good stuff and use DDR3 and let's get on to the next part because there's really not much to say about this because it's a motherboard. Motherboards do what motherboards do. And it only has support for one graphics card so but I'm pretty sure that graphics card is pretty good enough for that build. Now we're at RAM. This was actually in my top 5 budget RAM. So this um, I saw I've heard a lot about this RAM. It is a critical ballistics. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about it but it is critical ballistics for 8 gigabyte kit. Um, yeah, a lot of people heard of DDR3, of course, clocked at 1600 megahertz, and it is 240 pin. Yeah, guys, for forty dollars, this is actually very good um, RAM. But you could get some more RAM, or like um, you can get 16 gigs, you know, um, as much as you basically want. But eight gigs is pretty much all you need because games are pretty much running at. Um, I think the minimum was like six gigs, so an extra two gigs wouldn't wouldn't hurt, and it'd be perfect for gaming. But for editing, I would not recommend it. So yeah, this is Critical Ballistics 4 8GB kit, which is highly recommended of this build, and that's why I put it in. Going on to the next thing is the Seagate 1TB desktop Barracuda. It's a 1TB of course, I mean, I didn't really even bother to put an image because we all know what a, a uh, what's it called, a hard drive looks like. Yes, you could add a, um, uh, what's it called, a um, SSD. You could add a uh, Kingston, Samsung, you know, any type of SSD in there. You just make sure it's compatible, of course, and all that. So yeah, you get it, and, and you can get it from any size you want. But I re just recommend uh, for now a uh, one um, uh, one terabyte Seagate, one t um, terabyte desktop. But if you want an SSD, just start small with like maybe a 120 gig Kingston. You know, just just for some measures. You know, if you're not gonna really be doing too much about with um, uh, SSD. So yeah, guys, let's get on to the next part. Whoa, what happened? Now let's go to the last thing that powers all of the whole system. We went to, with the EVGA 500 um, B, of course, B1, 80 plus bronze, 500 um, watts, 
continuous power and it comes with a three year warranty which is very very helpful just in case you know something happens to your power supply but with this uh, th these are pretty reliable so I don't think you re really would need a three year warranty on this even though it comes with the manufacturer so that could become useful yeah guys I hope you guys enjoyed this build the, re you, the, uh, the reason I didn't even add a case was because you guys are going to choose a case so the case price may value at what case you want or what case you choose that's why I didn't even bother putting in a picture because you guys are probably going to choose a different case and whichever case is suited for you no PC is the same you can customize your case everything you want you know guys we changed the name to tech legends and we really would like it um, if you guys you know subscribed hopefully I don't like asking for um, you know um, subscribers because it seems kind of it seems kind of stupid I know as watching other youtubers and they always say oh subscribe 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 and I'm like oh my gosh I keep asking to subscribe and maybe some of you guys will understand and you like in um, realize how much it actually help uh, helps us and motivates us a lot like now I have 25 subscribers even seeing a one subscriber difference like now I have 25 and I get 26 that even motivates me even more to make some more videos hey guys I'm sorry about the slow video um, slow videos I will be hopefully posting another video by Friday I believe I don't know when this is gonna be posted but right now it's Wednesday and I'm not too sure when this is gonna be posted so you guys I don't wanna make this video w too long so yeah guys I'll see you guys in the next video this was Lawrence from Tech Legends